It's your turn to come, Ellie Bear. It's your turn. Get out there. Get going. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. It is this camera. I feel like this camera is, I don't know, it's annoying. You know, I always am a tried and true Canon person. I used to always like have fancy cameras and take pictures. And this time we went with Nikon because it was supposed to be this new vlogging experience, blah, blah, blah. It's horrible, I hate this camera. It doesn't like even set the light properly. I have to do it manually. Anyway, welcome to today's video. This started out with a rant. I'm about to do another rant. All right, I'm not about to do another rant, but I did want to say this. I wanted to say that I watched a video from a channel that I used to watch, like a family channel I used to watch all the time. And they have like four kids. And so I watched like all the kids grow up and then I stopped watching it eventually. And I watched it again and the oldest daughter, who was like the sweetest baby and the cutest little kid, clearly has like some, a neurodivergent brain. And so I was watching her and I didn't know she had, had a neurodivergent brain. But man, she is like beautiful. She's 12 now, she's beautiful. And her brain is like incredible. And it makes me always wanna question, like why do people have problems with people with autism or people with disabilities or people with a neurodivergent brain? Like some of the most incredible people in the world, like Elon Musk has a neurodivergent brain. Like these are exceptional people that are out there like, killing life and are like our actors and I don't know it just never ceases to amaze me that anybody has a negative opinion on anybody's differences it's when differences being different is what makes you who you are and I like applaud that I love that I feel like when people say hey I'm neurodivergent we should say wow that's amazing good for you like you have your own unique set of characteristics that nobody else has I mean we all have that anyways but Honestly, if you have any kind of difference, any kind of thing that makes you different from the group, then you should, you should like foster that and go with that and just be your best self. But anyways, look at how Toffee literally thinks that Lola's her mom. Like Lola, I feel like thinks that she's her mom, even though we bought these two little does. They both think Lola is their mom. It's crazy. Quick, I caught something sleeping in the hay. It's a tiger. I found a tiger sleeping in the hay. Wait, is it alive? Are you alive? Oh, his ears are twitching. His eyes are opening. <laughs> Ollie the cat. Sleeping in the hay, in the straw. I'm cleaning the barn, and then I hear Sam say, are you alive? And I'm like freaking out in the background, like, holy moly, don't say that. Don't say that when I'm in earshot, because those are freak me out words. Go ahead. So anyways, about the pregnancy, Lola might be pregnant. I mean, they could all be pregnant. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see. And before people start saying, hey, you should get your vet to, to ultrasound them, that's just the silliest thing. We have friends that ultrasound their goats every single year. And what the vet says is never what ends up happening. The vet sees like four babies and then they end up not having any babies at all. Or they end up having like one baby when the vet said there's three or four babies. So there's so much that can happen when you do an ultrasound. It's great for confirming pregnancy, but that doesn't mean that that's what the outcome is gonna be. And, and that's like a new practice that people do that. They just do it for fun. It's just a fun thing. Like you can't take it seriously and why are you eating the pig food? Oh my gosh. Sorry, Posey. We don't let her, we don't let the big ones out until Posey's almost done because she does eat their food. Anyways, one day I might buy an ultrasound machine because they are fun and it's fun just for interest sake, but it's not accurate because babies get reabsorbed. Goats can be pregnant at 30 days with four babies and then end up having one baby or end up having no babies. Like, 
You have to do it all, uh, for a while before you know for sure what you're gonna get. And it doesn't, it does, it doesn't matter that much. Ultrasound is mainly for the health of a pregnancy or if there's like a medical issue, just to see if you're having babies or how many babies you're having. Seems like a waste of my vet's time. Definitely a fun thing to do, but not a necessity. And farmers have been going for years and years and years breeding their herds and of goats and sheep and never ultrasounding them. Could you imagine if we had a hundred goats and then people expected you to ultrasound every single one of them just to see if they're pregnant? That just seems silly to me. There are so many better things that I'd rather spend my time and my money on than having pregnancy confirmed by my vet. Ellie, through ultrasound, if all I have to do is wait three weeks and see if they come back into heat, it's the same thing. Sophie and I love guessing. Can you guys see the fog? Wow. Sophie and I love guessing, we love the mystery, and we love the surprise at the end of the day. And even if you get your goat ultrasound at the end, it's still gonna be a surprise because you don't know how many have been reabsorbed, and that happens a lot. All right, so we are at the mall, you guys, and Sophie's gonna buy some stuff pick out some presents for her birthday. It's one of the best ways to buy presents for a teenager because only they know what they want. And she is really big into what? What are the two stores you want to go to today? Uh, Sephora and bookstore. Sephora and the bookstore. Makeup and books. Good. Just looking at, what's the newest, this one? The Ultra would be from the S series and the Fold and Flip would be the newest from their like foldable series. It has a pen and stuff? Correct. All right, thank you. Yeah, I need a new phone. You're my contract, yeah, my contract is up in November. So I have to get a new, vo new phone. Just put that in your pocket. Oh, that's so easy. But it's also so small. Like, it's normal. I don't like it. So, well. yeah, look at the difference between your iPhone. I only like Samsung. So this is the phone that I have right now. And it did not hold up. It sucked. This thing broke. There's a screen protector on here and it split down the middle and just broke off. So even though I love this phone and it's my favorite, I'm not going to get another one of those. So I'm not going to get this. So this is like my only choice. And I don't know if I like how square it is. Like see how this has rounded. This one is, this is the only one that's square, but it comes with the S Pen and I like that. So this is probably what I'm gonna get though. It's nice, I like it. Comment below if you have that Galaxy S24 Ultra. Wow, yep, that's it. That's gonna be my new phone. Oh, and here's the S Pen. Wow, I love it love it all right that's the one yeah that's like going back to the past i've had phones like that going back to the past so on galaxy s24 ultra versus galaxy s24 plus oh well, they have three different kinds actually i like it this is the one i want the ultra but they have three phones three different sizes is that the new Apple? Yeah, so actually now, just looking at it, now that I see like all the rounded edges, I like the new square one. What do you have, the 15? Mm -hmm. What do you have? 15. And this is the 16? Yeah, 16. And this is 16 Pro Max. And that's 16 Pro Max. You guys have the Pro Max yeah. already? Like Pro Max. That is such a cute purse. It doesn't even fit your phone. It fits my phone. Barely fits your phone. Well, that's not the point of a purse. You have pockets for that. Now, so, what is the point of a purse if you have if, wall, if you have pockets? My purse is on my phone. All right, let's so keep basically going. Basically, my phone is my purse. Sophie is like me; she just keeps buying purses. I'm like, Sophie, I already bought you so many things. Don't pick too many presents because I already overbought for you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you should get this. You should get this. You should get this. Now that it's popular for preteens to love skincare. Brooklyn wants this stuff for Christmas. She wants like all this stuff. Mmm, it smells so good. 
Actually, this might be good for Sophie because look, you can get smooth frizz prone hair and shield against humidity. That's what we both need. Velveteen Dream. Oh, it's like a lotion. I'm so out of the loop with this stuff. That's nice. Look at this stuff. This stuff smooths and gets rid of all your frizz. It's shampoo. It gets rid of all your frizz and smooths down your hair. You want to try this? So I've been researching all this makeup stuff and all this skin care, skin care stuff and I have a huge list of stuff that I'm going to get for Christmas. Stuff that I know is good for Brooklyn and not stuff that's going to wreck her skin. Look at this. This has got all the colors. No, that's Why buy this little tiny thing though? Like how long is that actually going to last you? That's my question. You guys, Sam, had, we're waiting in the car. Sam and Sophie went in to get a few things in the grocery store. And you guys, Sam ruins Christmas and birthdays every single year because if he knows what a present is, he just, I do not know why he does this, but he just keeps talking and he gives it away all the time. He always gives it away. So this year on Sophie's birthday, he wanted to buy her something like so special. So he bought her a new laptop, her dream laptop. He had to order it because they didn't have one in the store and so it's gonna come next week in the mail and she's gonna be like shocked because she really wants this laptop and she doesn't think she's getting it so anyways he bought it and I told him the other day I said like you should print off a picture of it or get a picture of it and we'll wrap that up for her birthday and he said okay so he does that he puts it in the truck on Sophia's seat and leaves it there and leaves it there. So she gets in the truck today because we we're going birthday shopping. She gets in the truck and she says, what's this? And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And we had to act under pressure. And I'm like, oh, that was attached to one of the bags of things that I just bought. Because I had gone, Sam and I went out shopping this morning and like a flyer in a bag. And she goes, oh, was it taped to the bag? And I said, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, there's no tape on it. So she knows, she knows now. Like. There's no reason for him to have a picture of the, her dream computer on her seat in her car. Unless, oh, like I'm so stressed out about it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I think like she's like, oh, I know what dad bought me. I know what dad bought me. And I don't want her to know. Like I want it to be a surprise. So I think what I'm gonna do is get something else that's like so stupid and wrap it up and maybe give her that from Sam. So then she'll think that she was wrong and then after she's all done opening her presents and like things kind of die down and she doesn't think she's getting it then give her the real picture like of the computer i think that's what i'm gonna do but oh man he ruins every surprise at christmas time about the girls both new iphones the newest iphone and he gave it away he always gives it away even like things that they buy me like he always just has to say something about it and all of us are kind of quick like we know so yeah, she knows what her big present is. And we just got home and Sam let the dogs out. I'm just sitting in the truck because I do that. I know people do that. You just sit in the truck because you just need five seconds to relax. And I'm sitting in the truck and Ellie came running out and she just ran into the barn as fast as she could. Like just flew into the barn. And then she turned around and she came out and then she ran into the chicken area. I know she's looking for me. Watch. <laughs> here you are. As soon as I open the door, she's here. Look. Look who I have, you guys. I got a little pumpkin. <laughs> wow. Who's that? That's baby Lily. <laughs> she's like, I like that. Anyway, baby Lily is here, and she's not very happy. She's tired. So we're going to go outside and go for a little walk. See her cute little pumpkin hat? You're so cute. Look, at she's almost five months old, you guys. Say hi. 